Imagine just for a moment that you have the combined knowledge of almost all of mankind at your disposal. Imagine, however, if you had each item, each memory stored somewhere separately in your brain, and no way of understanding the contents or context of each of those things. It's kind of hard to think about, isn't it? What it would look like is this. You're sitting in your kitchen with a phone in your hand, needing to organise a birthday party for your eight-year-old son. Only you don't understand what a kitchen is, what a phone is for, nor even what a son is, let alone what an eight-year-old is. I can only imagine the results. It's going to be a ball of nothing and one sad boy. Or a big mess of, well, everything. The reality is, though, that this is how computers operate, more or less. And so, much as computers are smart, they're also incredibly stupid. It's true that since the birth of the internet as we know it today, thanks Sir Tim Berners-Lee, we've somehow amassed pretty much the whole of human knowledge as far back as we care to imagine. But while we're smart enough to be able to put this knowledge together and make it work for us, it only works as much as we are able to put it together and as much as we know the things are connected. So we're doing okay. There are lots of smart people in the world prepared to manually join these things up and take the time to understand the concepts, but there is a better way. In 1994, Sir Tim Berners-Lee had another idea, and it's one that is slowly starting to catch on. What if we could find a way to make the knowledge knowable to a computer? What if we could make a computer understand what a son is, and an eight-year-old boy, and what friends are, and why you might want to put them together? It's been more than 20 years since Tim had his idea, so luckily, this kind of technology is impacting your life in lots of ways you don't even notice today. When we take the time to define things, make vocabularies, to find the links between things, make ontologies, and then give the things a code a computer can understand, a universal resource identifier, we are suddenly able to tell you not just how far away you are from your destination, but what time buses or trains are coming that will get you there, or what's the best route to drive. The power of all our knowledge being put together into a format a computer can understand is what's driving the transformation of our societies. Vocabularies, ontologies and things like URIs and persistent identifiers all come together to enable us to know ourselves and our societies better. With vocabularies driving understanding of our commonalities, ontologies creating an understanding of what's common across siloed pieces of data, and URIs giving computers the capacity to understand life in a more contextual, human way, we are able to democratise knowledge, find commonality, connection and patterns where we didn't know they existed, and we can use computers to help us query and understand the world in ways we've never been able to before. That's the power of linked data, and that's what the people of the Australian Government Linked Data Working Group are working towards today and every day. If you have questions or queries, please drop us a line, check out our GitHub at AGLDWG or visit the website at linked.data.gov.au.